Looks like we got a busted front clutch as well here. Did not see that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it looks like there's some pretty good holes there. I believe we found what chewed up our belt. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cart Smart TV. It is for I think the sports department at the at the college here locally and uh, they use it to you know haul around the players equipment all that good stuff right off the bat let me see here Fine. all right so first off i see something missing i think we have missing the drive belt and it looks like here are some pieces of it oh she's wrapped around the clutch looks like the belt had gotten frayed and then pieces of it just started getting wrapped around the clutch here so we're gonna get this off all right so now we got the wheel off and you can see right there right there is the 13 mil bolt it's just enough room to get to it get it unscrewed and pulled off of there it's just enough room to get off to get it off and get the new one put in if that's the way you're gonna go so yep that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get this bolt out be right back all right there you have it got the bolt out and now it's ready to pull off and there it is I got the clutch off laying over here in the floor let's take a look at this thing so it looks like broke a ramp shoe belt is completely tangled up in the spring it's broke that one and practically knotted itself up all right everybody so got a hold to the customer customer cleared to put a new one on it said it was about time for it anyway so here we are with a new one Laid out nice and pretty, brand new ramp shoes. All we gotta do is just slide it back into place. So when you're removing the old clutch, okay, these things are keyed on the shaft, on the input shaft, with your keyway slot. Make sure you keep your keyway. All right, got the new one slid back on. Then we're gonna get the keyway put back in place. Hopefully, we'll get our bolt put back in. Tighten that up, throw your belt back on, put your wheel back on, give it a test ride. So I'm going to get this tightened down, get this wheel thrown back on, and uh, throw the belt on it. I'm going to take it for a ride. Looks like we got a busted front clutch as well here. Did not see that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it looks like there's some pretty good holes there. I believe we found what chewed up our belt. Alright guys, so after further investigation, once we got the new clutch on, we started to look around <clears throat> and try to figure out why why did this belt shred up like it did it's it was really odd to see one shredded like that generally because they're on smooth surfaces when they're riding well we discovered the front clutch just absolutely blew itself up somehow i don't know if something got in it caused it to to do that uh but it is really really bad and it's very important to, uh, you know, check this thing over good when you got something come in that looks pretty rough to start with, like the back clutch there. Uh, we, I just thought, man, I ought to check, look better into this because something happened, made this belt shred up like it did. And you can see the pieces of belt just sitting there. If you can see right here, 
the sheath has busted on the drive clutch which that is what has caused the problem to start with so what we're gonna do is try to get this clutch off without having to unbolt the motor and lean it sideways to get to the bolt to get it out sometimes you can and uh, sometimes you can't so give me a sort of down towards underneath that frame rail right there so I should be able to come from this direction hit the bolt it slides out I put the puller in hit the puller pops the clutch off I got enough room to get it out so here we go guys there is the old clutch and that's what I was saying like I couldn't see this to start with we thought we just had a clutch problem it was turned over like this and I hadn't had a chance to rotate the engine yet well when I did I said oh crap boss man we got a problem here and so this is what we found um, something hit this had to have to end up destroying that as bad as it is so and here's your new shiny pretty one that's not torn up I'll throw it back on Okay guys, so a quick recap. We were working on a 2012 club car carry-off. And we went from this to that. Brand new front clutch, brand new rear clutch. Obviously it was destroyed on the old one. some action going on back here with the wheel spinning and so this is just a little proof that you can do this with the motor still in the cart it does take a little bit of doing just be patient uh, it can get a little frustrating at time but you know just be patient and take your time on getting the bolts and stuff out and getting that motor turned a little to the side and kind of tilted down that was the best source that I had here had to hook our airbox back up our fuel line back up those are the only two things that was actually keeping this motor from really swiveling like I needed at the beginning but we got it and uh, slapped the battery back in and you've seen it run guys we thank you for watching these videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button for us guys check out all our videos on on the channel there hit that like button Give us some comments if you got any questions or uh, need some information. We'll do everything we can to get you uh, informed on what you're working on. You know, hit that and notification bell. We have new videos coming out uh, here shortly, hopefully. And um, 
yeah, that's going to be a wrap for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all.